episode. We have the RX-8 here. It needs a headlight restored. I already restored that one yesterday. It's not perfect, if you can tell or not, but I messed up when I was doing it and I didn't have any paint thinner to try to take off that coating, the clear coat I put on it. So I had to sand it down again and it took forever, but I got it, I got it pretty good. I want not not like super happy with it, but it is a lot better than so, it was. Actually first out. and foremost, you're going to need a beer. You're going to need clear. You're going to need some tape so you can tape off your paint so you don't sand that down. And then I got some 600 ultra fine, 1500 mirror fine. And then finally, but not least, we have some 2500 grit. You'll need some rags and rubbing alcohol to clean off. Make sure the stuff's nice and clean. You need hot, well, I use hot water and a little bit of soap and then just one bottle right here to clean it off. That's the stuff that I'm gonna use to do this. If you have a better way, comment down below. Let me know because I'm always interested in learning on how to do things better, more efficiently. I'm still in quarantine. As you can see, I did my hair today. Can you tell? I cut the sides because I'm afraid to do the top. So now I have like this, this hat thing going on. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna dive right into this video or this project right now. And let me know what you think. All right, so I'm giving you guys a point of view look at this install. We're gonna time lapse this. I got a bottle opener created by my nice wife. Okay, so now you see how it is right now. This is was it cleaned off. Well, pretty much cleaned off. Still got a fog over it. See this one, I got rid of the fog, although I ended up putting this in here and I don't really know how the I did that. And all this part right here and get rid of the fog over or the haze. So let's get at it. So you see how how it is. I, I have no idea if I'm in the frame or not, but so you see right here. I'm gonna wipe it down one more time before I clear it. But it's I got a haze over it from sanding. So you're gonna take the clear, you're gonna clear coat over that, and then you're gonna see a nice gloss finish to it. So overnight, I let the clear clear coat dry and it's been like a few days later because i was trying some things and because basically what happened it turned out like the other one did the first time around it like cracked and hazed over and this one was actually pretty bad so last night i got over here i started sanding on it with some 220 i know like i was a little 220 is a little heavy grit but anyways it worked i 220 600 1500 2500 put a light clear on it and all i was wanting which is right here i mean it's still got a crack um, I can't seem to get away from the cracking. Put in the comments on why it cracks. I thought I knew why it cracked was either because there are like oil stuff on it that it didn't get cleaned off or too cold. I think I might be wrong though. Maybe the oil is actually bubbling and the cracking is cold. I don't know, but it's not that cold in here now and it wasn't cold when I sprayed it, so I don't know why it cracked. So we have to go round two of sanding it down to get it to where we want it to look more like, you know, like this one. But we're trying to get better than that one. But if you can tell the difference I sanded here last night and not here, and this is after we cleared it. About three layers of clear on there, so we're gonna go ahead and sand it down and get it 
to the better stage that we want. We're gonna go ahead and try and clear this. I feel like it's good. We're gonna hope for the best. And, you know, that's all I do here is hope for the best. Uh, you got any pointers? Like I said a little bit earlier, you got any pointers? Let me know. Comment. I wanna hear your opinion. I might not respond back, but I wanna hear it. We're gonna take this up and spray a nice light, even coat. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. I already can see a defect that's gonna happen right there. Oh, and I just touched it. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna let this dry and see how it goes. All right, so for an 06, a 14 year old car, to have the headlights brought back to life like this, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, eventually I'll probably maybe get in, uh, order some new headlights online, some fancy ones or something like that, I don't know. But hey, it works. And that sums up this video. Hit that like button, you know, hit that subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you think. And did I say like it? I think I did. Anyways, you know, peace out.